Hello everyone. How are you all? How is your English practice going on? Are you all practicing English properly or not? You might be feeling what has happened to Kavita today. Why is she speaking so odd? I'll tell you what has happened to me. Hello and welcome back everyone to Kavita Devakar's class once again after a long span of at least 11 to 12 days. I am unable to make videos regularly due to some circumstances I stay occupied all day. I'm so sorry for that. But I know that your practice is at the pace and it is going on regularly and you people are improving your English. In today's video, I am going to answer a question asked by my subscriber. I felt that the question was so perfect and excellent that I felt like making a detailed video and helping everyone know about the same. Subscriber said that since he has started watching my videos, he is observing a major change in his speaking style. But he wants to know that when we copy a native speaker or anybody whose English is excellent, what should be the exact method of copying? Should we write it down with a pen and paper, learn it by heart and then speak it up on our own? Or should we just copy their way of speaking and start speaking on our own randomly? In today's video, I am going to answer this in detail. Along with that, I am going to tell you how did I practice when I was copying native speakers. When I say native speaker, I do not mean I watch foreign people. It is just that I watch some famous people. Now, you might have heard the starting part where I was speaking a bit odd. I couldn't speak like some other people because I have become better over the time. But there are people who speak properly. How are you? And... What is, is, is your name? Majority of people do the same mistake. So if you all are copying someone, make sure that you copy in a right manner. If you do mistakes in copying someone, you will lead towards the wrong path and you will not be able to learn fluent English. I will be sharing tips for intermediate people and beginner people. Okay, so let's start with the beginner first. Let's understand that if you are completely a beginner, you want to be able to frame sentences on your own altogether. You might listen to people, you might understand. But when it comes to speaking on your own, you want to be able to do the same like the other person. If you are completely a beginner, if you cannot speak two or three sentences on your own, then you need to listen to someone, write it down on a paper, repeat it multiple times, listen to the audio and speak the same sentences. For example, if I'm saying, where have you been since so long? So after you listen to me, write down where have you been since so long and read it the same way I am doing. Where have you been since so long? This should be the way you need to improvise your pronunciation because unless you sound good enough in English, your English is going to go waste. Just because someone is able to speak fluent English does not make his English attractive at all. You need to understand this. If you need to sound attractive, you will have to do something for your pronunciation and the accent in which you speak. But you will have to listen to recorded audios. If you are talking to someone physically and if you tell them, please repeat it, I'm writing it down on a pen and paper, then the person will laugh at you and he will not repeat. Please make sure that if you are a beginner, listen to recorded audios, write it down on a paper, Listen to it multiple times, read it sentence by sentence as the speaker is saying and then repeat it in your own words, okay? Coming to beginner, no, coming to intermediate level. If you are an intermediate person, as I assume, 99% of people watching me here are all intermediate because I know all of you write me so beautiful comments and you people keep asking me beautiful questions too. I know that you people have also tested your English level through a video which I had uploaded it late in uh, the month of December or November wherein I have asked you all to test your English level you people have performed there well and I know all of them have scored either 4 rating or 5 rating if you have not watched that video you can watch it in the i button I shall link it here in that I have tested how is your English and at what level is it through that I came to know most of my subscribers are intermediate people so for you this is the thing if you are an intermediate and if you are watching my video, you need to listen to the audio first, 
summarize the audio in your own words you need not write it down anywhere or listen to me multiple times because i know that you people understand me so well and you have no problem in repeating the sentences it's just that you need to work on the pronunciation first if i am saying pronunciation the word pronunciation itself is not pronunciation it is pronunciation i still remember when i was in class 13 I committed this mistake of saying pronunciation where my ma'am corrected pronunciation so since then i remember it very well so everyone makes mistake there's no big deal in this i am also not perfect in grammar you too are not perfect so we all are together in this journey okay all of us can improve i am talking to the camera you can talk to yourself if you don't feel like facing the camera but if you wish to improve your communication skill if you wish to improvise your presentation skills when it comes in talking uh, in front of people or publicly or if you wish to become a good communicator uh, overall personality development then you will have to face all these things and get rid of this fear inside you okay so this will happen slowly slowly let's not go deep into that or else you'll start practicing english too let's stick to english as of now so i was saying if you are an intermediate you will have to frame sentences on your own speak to your own but make sure that you copy the pronunciation of the speaker you are listening to be it me or be it someone else you feel like this is how even i copied if i tell you when i was in class 7th and 8th i had started practicing english my school teachers were okay they spoke some common sentences but through that we cannot learn fluent english right i used to watch dd news channel for looking at the pronunciation of the news reporters who displayed the news those days i never understood of course 99% of the thing i it was out of my head they used so difficult words but i paid attention to what they spoke the way they spoke the personality they carry since then i started observing people and i started to improve myself too i am still learning and i have a lot to do in my life i have a big list and i am going to climb ladder step by step but i'm going to pull you also and take you ahead this is my aim and i want you all to keep practicing every day do not forget to write me in the comment your feedback suggestion and everything if you have sorry if you have any queries you can write me down freely in the comment section if i feel like i need to answer it in detail i shall make a detailed video for you okay So I hope my subscriber got this answer and thank you for giving me such a beautiful content. And one more thing if you wish to say stay connected this is what happens if you try to speak fast you fumble and you are unable to make it clear enough. I am trying to speak really fast today and see these are the mistakes. I'm not going to cut this part today because I want to show you that everyone makes mistake and it's really common. You too can go ahead with your mistakes and become better one day. Okay? So if you wish to stay connected with me you can follow on me follow me on my Instagram page write me the comment like share subscribe please if you haven't just a reminder okay so see you in the next class till then bye bye take care my dear lovely people happy learning to all of you